Coming to see a Shadwell Opera show isn't just a, a kind of relatively innocuous form of entertainment. We try and make it more than that. We try and obviously make it entertaining, but we try and make it meaningful and truthful. What we really believe in at Shadwell is that uh, if a musical experience uh, is engrossing enough dramatically, people can lose themselves in anything. We're interested in looking at pieces where the, the relationship between the singer and the instrumentalists is not as clear cut as, say, singers on a stage and orchestra in a pit. Nick Morris, who's doing eight songs for Mad King, we've had the opportunity, working one-on-one -on -one with him, to start to try and develop a, a, a way of approaching movement in, in these pieces that allows him to still, obviously, sing all the right notes, doesn't get in the way, but pushes the boundaries of, of, of what he is capable of doing. One of the challenges of this piece is that it uses, as is well known, a hugely uh, wide range of extended techniques for the voice. There's so much, it's so dense, it's so detailed, and it's using all the extremes of one's voice, of one's body, and every instrument is, is taken to to and beyond what's possible to do. One of my favourite things to do is find ways in which an individual voice can react to the challenges that a particular composer makes of it. And there's always a sort of two-way process between the extended techniques that a composer gives you and uh, what each individual voice is capable of. With, with encouragement, a lot of encouragement from Jack directing and from Finn conducting and give me a lot of coaching on it. I could do this, I could make these sounds and I could do it safely. Being in St Anne's on Kew Green George III apparently worshipped here sometimes. He paid for the gallery to be built. He was uh, incarcerated in Kew Palace just down the road. So suddenly doing eight songs for a Mad King here, which is about George III and about George III's madness, it feels like you're looking back in time, like you could be looking at a spectre of George III. We've got so many operas ahead of us. It's what makes it so exciting to be on this, this journey together. Howling!